Hey everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I don't know if you can tell but be proud, you're on my tripod at the moment so I'm actually using that. But anyway, as you can tell by the title, today's video I will be trying to follow Sarah's day's diet for 24 hours. So it's a bit of a fun video. I want to do more of these videos of following people's diets. So if you have any suggestions, comment them below. But for the last year, I've been watching Sarah's videos and I really like them and all of her food looks amazing. I've cooked some of her things before, so I'm interested to try this out. So before we get into this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and also turn on those notifications so you're notified every time I upload a new video. So it's breakfast, obviously, and I've just found Sarah has a lot of smoothie recipes on her Instagram, so I've just found this video here of her toddler making a smoothie and I'm just going to follow that and we'll see how it turns out. <laughs> okay. Okay. I should also add an ice in there so I'm probably going to do that too. She didn't add this but I'm sneakily add in a piece of cauliflower I just have like some frozen cauliflower that I like to add so I get like a little bit of veggies in my smoothie so don't judge okay so the next thing one and a half cups of almond milk oh that's not almond milk by the way I don't have almond milk so I'm just using soy milk One the jewel date. She adds some oats, quarter of a cup of oats. And now it's actually really sad that in this video you're supposed to use her you know fit protein. She has like her own protein powder. And I'm really obsessed with that one and I actually ran out of it like literally two days ago before thinking about doing this video. So I'm just gonna substitute with this vanilla protein powder instead. But I would have loved to use the cookie dough one because that one's elite. Okay, let's go blend this up. Also, I don't know who said, but I've been getting the ingredients from over there and it's literally like this tiny little spank spider dangling from the ceiling and it's moving around and it's kind of scaring me, but we'll pretend it's not there. And ugh. Okay. So this is it done. It's pretty thick, so happy with that. Also, I totally just realized something else. I literally start every day with her body bloom, and I didn't even film that on camera. Like I haven't had it today. So I'm going to have it now before my smoothie. So just wait. I literally had to walk past the spider to get these and it was way too scary. So I'm gonna have my body bloom because that's what Sarah starts a day with. That's actually what I start with my day, my day with too. I can't even speak. So I'm going to have that. Of course. So now that that's done, let me try the actual smoothie. This is the product. Hope it tastes good. Okay, this is really good. It's just like a banana smoothie. And honestly, just like plain banana smoothies are probably my favorite, so that's really yum. So I'm gonna finish this and I'll see you guys probably at lunchtime. Hi everyone, so it's now lunchtime and I didn't have a lot of ingredients in the fridge, but looking, I decided to do it I can't even speak, but I decided to do a lunch kind of like what sarah did years and years ago like in her very old vlogs i didn't have any spinach or anything to put in the bottom but i just did some steamed veggies with tomato and then a whole can of tuna and also she used to top lots of her salads and things with seeds i didn't really have any seeds in the pantry either but i did find some pumpkin seeds and i just put some of them on top so this is what i'm having for lunch pumpkin green beans tomato 
tuna and pumpkin seeds on top and yeah it's not super similar like i didn't follow an actual recipe or anything but hopefully some of my other meals will more closely follow what sarah's day eats so i'll see you next time i eat something okay hey everyone i'm just back from a photo shoot and um, it's so cold in melbourne today i'm about to go ice skating hence my get up so i'm gonna have a snack and a lot of the snacks that sarah seems to have especially like a couple of years ago she always loved fruit and nut mix so i don't have fruit and nut mix but oh here it is i do have like some granola and i love snacking on granola so I'm going to pour like a little bowl of granola and have that instead. Personally, I'm not even like into fruit and nut mix. I just hate like dried fruit. I don't know if anyone else is like that. Whereas my granola is like just crunchy and nut and stuff. Making a mess everywhere. Okay. So I'm literally just going to have my granola. I'll see you at dinner probably. And I'm very excited about dinner. Dad's making it for me, which is very nice. So you guys will get to see what we're having then. Until then, see ya. Okay, everyone. So it's now dinner time and I'm having um, tuna more that dad made. Thanks, dad. Do you want to feature? Yeah, that's always enjoyable making great food, great wholesome food for the family. That sounded really scripted. <laughs> um, anyway, we're having this because months and months ago, Sarah's day put on her Instagram, I think it was, this tuna mornay recipe and Dad's been making it ever since. So it fits within today's video. And so yeah, this is basically all I'm eating for the rest of the day. So I'm going to end this video now. Thanks all for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.